Hey everyone, how you doing? Stability AI, that's the company behind Stable Diffusion, just announced the soon to be release of Stable Diffusion 3. And unlike the couple previous versions, to me, this one here is going to be a big deal. The reason is Stable Diffusion 3 is going to incorporate Diffusion Transformer architecture, which is the same kind of technology that's being used in OpenAI Sora. So most of us by now have probably seen videos of OpenAI Sora. So we're familiar with the capabilities that that kind of technology has. And to bring that into Stable Diffusion, that's going to be a game changer. That's a big deal. So this is big news for all users of Stable Diffusion. Some of the major features that Stable Diffusion 3 brings to the creative table are the ability to generate 3D images and video along with greatly improved text generation and text styling capabilities. So each of these are big features in and of themselves, but when combined, they make Stable Diffusion 3 a must have release. So it's Stable Diffusion 3 is gonna increase the versatility and functionality of Stable Diffusion. And it's gonna allow Stable Diffusion to possibly outperform Dolly and even Midjourney and put it on an even footing with Sora. Since its release just a couple weeks ago, OpenAI Sora has been just killing it. So Stability AI knew that they needed to act and they needed to act fast and act fast they did. Uh, announcing the release of Stable Diffusion 3 just a couple weeks after their previous release of Stable Cascade. And Stable Cascade is something I had initially thought of doing a video on how to install but once I got to working with it, I decided not to because Stable Cascade needs a lot of resources that a lot of people aren't going to have on their home computer. Uh, it needs a pretty beefy GPU, something along the lines of a 3090 or 4090, which, you know, those are $1,000 and $2,000 GPUs. A lot of people don't have one of those. I don't have one of those. And I really only want to make videos, first of all, that use technology that's free, that's open source, and that really the majority of people can make use of. It's not going to do me any good to make a video on how to install something if you can't install it. So I want it to be something that's usable by the majority of people on a standard computer. So I decided not to do a video on uh, Stable Cascade. Now, supposedly Stable Diffusion 3 works around that, that need for a high-end GPU by having different variations of the software, some of which are intended to run on lower spec GPUs. Now, since it's not been released yet, I can't test that, but hopefully that stays and is the case uh, upon release and we will know that soon enough. Now, some of the major differences and improvements that you'll find in Stable Diffusion 3 include significantly better text rendering capabilities, text styling capabilities, uh, the ability to generate 3D images, the ability to do video within Stable Diffusion, and the ability for the AI to differentiate between left and right and foreground and background. Now, that's something that most AI has a hard time doing right now. In other words, if you tell your image creator that you want somebody holding something in their right hand, most AI is not capable of doing that uh, at this point. So that is something that supposedly is going to be available in Stable Diffusion 3. And I'm really anxious to see if that holds true because that's going to be very, very useful if it does. There is a pretty big concern among the community, though, that Stable Diffusion user community, that Stable Diffusion 3 may be headed towards the direction of being more heavily censored than previous versions of Stable Diffusion have been. A lot of people love Stable Diffusion for the reason that it is not heavily censored, unlike a lot of the other AI generators, and it gives you creative freedom to create the art that you want to be able to create. If they start censoring that, uh, it's gonna take that ability away, and a lot of people are also concerned about political censorship. And something I haven't seen anybody else talking about at this point is 
at least in my opinion, I believe that stable diffusion will probably at some point become a paid product. It just, I don't know that for sure, but to me it just makes sense and I suspect that at some point that will happen. A lot of people would say that it can't become a paid product because it's released as open source, but they're confusing free with open source, which are two very different things. Open source simply means that the source code is made available. So if you want to inspect the source code for whatever reason, for, you know, if you want to see if there's anything nefarious hidden within the source code, you can do that. But there are plenty of open source products that are still also paid products. So open source and free are not necessarily the same thing. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. Uh, but there is a lot of time, energy, and especially money that goes into creating something like Stable Diffusion. And at some point, that huge investment needs to start making a return. And I suspect that at some point, Stable Diffusion will go the route of most of the other AI generators that are out there, and it will become paid. What that should mean to users of Stable Diffusion right now is because we have the ability to use it for free, this is your grand opportunity to get in there, use it all that you can, learn everything that you possibly can right now while it's free before it becomes paid. Because then once it becomes paid, you already know how to do everything. So you're not trying to learn while you're also paying for the product. You already know how to use it at that point. So what have we learned about Stable Diffusion 3? Well, Stable Diffusion 3 is going to have vastly improved text and text styling capabilities, the ability to differentiate between left and right, the ability to tell between foreground and background. It's going to have multiple subject capabilities along with improved graphics and photorealism. So there's actually quite a bit. There's, there's a lot to come in the Stable Diffusion 3 release. Uh, the cons are the potential for the high hardware specifications, which hopefully uh, they will have a workaround for, for people that, uh, like me, that just have a normal, typical GPU in their computer. There's the prospect that it might be highly censored. We won't know until it's actually released. And in my opinion, the fact that at some point it's probably not going to remain free, although I've seen nothing saying that Stable Diffusion 3 won't be free. So I, I would assume that that's a little bit further down the road, if it ever happens at all. But those are the worst case scenario what ifs. So as it stands right now, all of the pros, and there's a lot of pros, greatly outweigh those the cons. And uh, Stable Diffusion 3 looks like it's going to be a major release, why well, major improvement on Stable Diffusion, and I'm really, really anxious for it to get here. And that's it. Until Stable Diffusion 3 comes out, once it's available, I will make a quick tutorial on how to install Stable Diffusion 3. And if you found anything in this video helpful, I sure would appreciate the like.